Who do you think you are? Seriously, who do you think you are? How do you see yourself in your mind? The concept of self-image is crucial to the happiness in your life. So how can you create a healthy, powerful self-image? Watch this video. I am so happy that you found my channel to create the life that you desire. So make sure you subscribe right below and you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Now, if you're someone who is worried about what others think, who struggle with self-confidence and self-esteem and, and unhappy and not fulfilled and not really wondering, hmm, how can I be successful and live that meaningful and fulfilled life that I really want to? You see yourself unhappy, unsatisfied, but how can you turn that around? That's what self-image is about. And yes, you can learn it. Yes, you can take steps. And in fact, I'm going to give you five steps, five tips to grow to a healthy self-image easily. And I've helped many clients with just that. Professionals, ambitious professionals who want to create a life to desire but still feel like I'm unhappy and I'm stuck and I'm worried and I'm, I'm doubting myself. What's going to happen? What will others say? And if you know how to deal with that self-image and create a healthy self-image, you're on your way. So now, dive in, and then by the end of this video, you will know how to grow that self-image. And it's your turn to live the life that is fulfilling to you. What is self-image? You know, there's self-esteem, there's self-confidence, self-concept, all of these terms are related to each other for sure but the self-image is how you see you in your mind okay so you stand in front of a mirror and you see yourself physically that's how you see yourself physically but your self-image is how you see you in your mind how you think others see you how you interpret how others see you so it could be i'm unhappy I'm not attractive, I'm a failure. All of those are self-image. You see yourself as a failure. You see yourself as unsuccessful. You see yourself as unhappy, okay? So it's not seeing yourself physically a body with clothes on. No, it's seeing yourself in your mind, right? So that's self-image. But self-image, if you have a positive, healthy, self-image, it will help you to create better relationships, to have more accomplishments, to feel better about yourself, to live a happier life, right? So it's so important to have a healthy self-image. You will also increase your self-confidence and your self-esteem if you have a healthy self-image, right? So let's not wait any longer. What are these five tips? to create a positive self-image. Number one, stop being that perfectionist, okay? Perfection is a fairy tale. There is no such thing as being perfect. It doesn't exist. So stop trying that. Stop trying to be a perfectionist because you will always feel like, oh, it's not quite right and it's not 100% and no, it will never be. So if you lower that and you stop trying to be, it will just give you so much more peace and less frustration and less stress. So stop trying to be perfect. Life is not perfect. Things are not perfect. Nobody is perfect. Why are you trying so hard? Number two, control your thoughts. Everything is here. Everything is here. If you feel bad about yourself, if you're telling you the story over and over, I'm unhappy, I'm a failure, I'm not good enough. What is it? It's you telling you that story. So change the story. Change that in your mind. I know it sounds easy, but it, it works. I use it all the time. If you feel unhappy, then just stop telling yourself that. Stop and control your thoughts. If you feel that inner voice and, and negativity and negative thoughts, shout out, stop. Shout it out, stop. There will always be this inner critic. 
oh, you're not good enough, you can't do this, what if this, what if that, and I should, and you would, and you have to, and blah, blah, blah. No, if you hear it, pay attention to it, be aware of your thoughts, and just stop it. Number three, stop comparing yourself to others. Look, the more you compare yourself to others who are better, who have more, who are more successful, who do this better than you and that better than you, you will never be fulfilled. You will never be satisfied. It's time to live your own life. Tell your own story. The more you compare yourself to others, look, it's really easy. There will always be someone out there who has something better than you, who has some more talents than you, who, who does things better than you. There is always someone out there who has something that you don't have, who does something that you can't do. Always. Keep searching. Always. So you will be unsatisfied and unfulfilled and feel like a failure the rest of your life. It's your choice. So stop comparing yourself to others. You are you. Start living your life. Start being you. You have talents that others don't have. You have ambitions that others don't have. You have your own life. Coco Chanel said, beauty begins the moment you tell your own story. Well, it wasn't the right quote. I make my quote of, of Coco Chanel's quote. Beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. That was Coco Chanel's quote. And I'm saying beauty begins the moment you start telling your own story. It's your life. Start living it. Do not compare yourself to others. Even if you would have an identical twin, you have different experiences, different situations, different circumstances. You cannot compare yourself to somebody else. You are unique, so be it. Be you. Ah, I can talk about that forever. <laughs> okay, number four, try daily affirmations. Daily affirmations work. Put some post-its here and there. Write a journal. Wake up and say some things Oh, I'm trying to stay positive today. I can choose to live my own life. I am unique. I am positive today. I'm trying to be positive today. I am doing the best that I can. All of these are positive affirmations that will help you. They will help you, trust me. So post it, write it down, look at it every day and repeat it to yourself. I am who I am. I am being the best version of me. I am trying to create the life of my own. I'm living the life on my own terms. Comment below, have you ever tried positive affirmations and what are they? What can you write down every day that you feel good about telling yourself? Write it down below, I want you to comment below. Okay, and last but not least, number five, surround yourself with positive people. I made a whole video about that. I'll link it down below. You can choose between positive spirits or energy vampires. But if you surround yourself by positive people, the ones who motivate you, the ones who inspire you, you will increase and boost your self-image because they will not drag you down. They will motivate you. They will tell you, yeah, you're on the good way. You're on the path. You're growing. Come on, keep going. You're going well. So surround yourself with good people who inspire you who motivate you, who give you energy, who have the confidence that you want, who have the self-esteem that you want, who have a good, positive, healthy self-image, because you will absorb that energy and you will take that with you and you will grow your own. Yeah, you will. The people around you are super important. So those were the five tips that I can give you to grow your self-image. And it's really important to succeed in anything in life. So comment below, let me know what was your biggest takeaway. And I just want to encourage you that you can learn it, you can grow, you can achieve anything in life. But all of these things, self-image, self-confidence, I talk about it all the time, your mind, how do you see yourself? What story are you telling yourself? Comment below, what's your biggest takeaway? I wanna know. And please, Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this video and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.